When we create a tree diagram for flipping two coins, we wanna start with the two possible outcomes for a single coin toss. And those are either heads or tails. Here comes our tree diagram. Now that very first branching is gonna to represent tossing the first coin. And I know that that first coin can land on either heads or on tails. And then for our second branching, which is really the second coin. So on that second coin, I could follow the heads with either another heads or with a tails. And I could follow that tails very similarly with either a heads or a tails. This gives me our sample space. And our sample space is equal to the set of all possible outcomes. I can trace down each of my outcomes. So I have heads followed by heads, heads followed by tails, tails followed by heads, and finally tails followed by tails. From here, I have a couple of options for computing that probability. If I do my probability just by counting, I know that the probability of getting both tails lives right here, and that probability is going to be, so probability of both tails is equal to the number of favorable outcomes out of the total number of outcomes. This is a great one just to count. I've circled that single favorable outcome, so I've got one, and my total outcomes, one, two, three, four, are four. Now I wanna show you another way because as the branches get larger, just counting becomes a little more difficult. So instead I'm gonna put the probabilities on my tree diagram. So I can do the probability of getting the first tails. So the probability of getting that first tails, so probability of one tail with one coin toss is gonna to be one out of two or a 0.5. As I work down the branching, I'm just working on the event all by itself, not in combination with the other one. So the probability of getting tails on the second coin by itself is another 0.5. To come up with our probability, I can use the multiplication principle and multiply those two things together. So I end up that my probability of tails and tails is 0.5 times 0.5, which is, guess what? 0.25 or that same one fourth. Let's take that tree diagram and extend it for three coins this time. So I'm just gonna add on to my branches. So I've got additional branches here and on these additional branches, I'm just continuing to repeat um, a heads as a possible outcome and a tails as a possible outcome. So you can see how this gets pretty cumbersome pretty quick. I wanted the probability of three tails. I could definitely count this up, but let's put those probabilities back in. I'm looking at the probabilities for getting a tails, and it's the same for getting a heads. So I could actually put this throughout my entire tree diagram. So I could definitely count these up, but I can also use my probability amounts for each event. So each of these are gonna be 0.5, so I can multiply those 0.5s together. So 0.5 times 0.5 times a 0.5, which is equal to 0.125 or 12.5%. You are doing great. I've got another video for you here. 